this is Edwan and today we are back in the studio for a new noise video. So today I'm taking a challenge which is the Super So Only Challenge. I challenge you to do the same, especially Arcade, because FL Studio God asked us to do it. Post your track on Instagram anywhere, send me the DM, tag me anywhere. So today I was having a coaching session with Steven and Patrick and we were talking about the importance of choosing your sounds before you start mixing them. Because the more different two sounds are, the easier it gets to distinguish them in the mix. The less mixing is required. But what if you have several times the same sound and you need to make them sound different and make them blend together? Noisely. Is it possible to make a drop using only super souls? Maybe. Maybe not. So, let's get started. If you want to download this FLP and improve it, please do so. You smart. I'm going to use Nexus. Okay. It's a bunch of souls <laughs> playing together with some detuning on some of the saw layers. So, let's go. <laughs> I should stop making this fucking joke. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Is this funny, Mozart? Before we get started, of course, let's do a little prayer to FL Studio God. FL Studio God, please, don't crash this time. I'm only using super souls. You asked us to do it. I'm doing it now. So please, at least don't crash. I don't want to revert to the last backup. Thank you. Let's start by making some chords. This is gonna be the super so anthem. I try to keep all the notes in the same notes range, in the same frequency range, to make it easier to mix them and to give them a specific space in the mix. So now let me cut the very low end. Everything below 300 is being cut. I'm also cutting the very high end. I want to keep this for the lead and I'm cutting this frequency range, which is more appropriate for the leads and which really gives some presence to the leads. Let's get rid of some of the mono signal here with this plugin. I'm adding some stereo enhancer here. Fruity River is the best reverb in the world. Now let's jump on to the bass. Let's turn this into a bass. I'm going to make it... Wow! Nice! So I'm removing all the high end, everything above 300 is being cut. I'm making this one completely mono. And also adding a fruity limiter to compress it. Now let's make something pretty challenging. Let's create a kick drum using the Super So. Turn these two knobs down to have a really short note. I'm going to take the fundamental here. And this is going to be my kick. Let's make this lower. And louder. I'm gonna need to cut the high end here. It's way too loud. There we go. It's a bit too long. I will export this now. I'm gonna play around with the pitch envelope a little bit. Increase the attack. Compress it after that. 
some distortion. And some more distortion. Why is this so long now? <laughs> I accidentally made a, a hardstyle kick. This is cool. This is a cool sub kick. I can make it. I'm gonna side chain it to the base. Pretty limiter. I change it to the chords. Let's see how it sounds. Let's do a copy of this kick. It sounds a bit weak. Now let's add some groove here. Now it's time to add the lead sound. I'm going to make it longer and with some release, which sounds always sounds good. Some delay. I'm gonna double this beautiful super so one octave up. Compress it, etc., etc. Let's stack some super souls. Let's add an arpeggio here. And let's mix it differently, let's mix it uh, very sterile in the sides and in the background. Now let's try to make some sort of clap with this kick drum, super kick drum. Oh, this is pretty cool. I'm going to use this as a lead as well. Could we play some chords on this maybe? A few moments later. <laughs> okay, let's try it. I will put it to the left, duplicate it left and right. Next up, I will cut all the low end here. and try to remove the tonal features. Next up, let's make it more stereo. Maybe add a chorus here would be a nice idea to make it more stereo and to make it sound a bit more like a clap. I will add some distortion before all this.
And let's add another chorus here. Chorus users. Another one. Now let's try to make the hi-hat. Let's make the groove already. This is not bad. So that's it for today guys, I hope you enjoyed this challenge and let me know if you think this is a pass or a fail in the comments down below. Try to take the challenge as well, try to make a drop using only super sauce. It's a great way to challenge yourself to be more creative by limiting yourself. So you can download the Fruity Loops project at the link in the description below, try it. FL Studio God asks you to do it. Thank you so much for watching guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're not part of the producer family yet. Let me know your suggestions for next videos, next challenges, video tutorial ideas. And of course, don't forget to pray to FL Studio God.